Hello, my name is Josue Vargas and I'm an integration engineer with NXLog. In this video, we will discuss the need for efficient log collection in ICS and SCADA environments and how you can achieve it using NXLog Enterprise Edition. Industrial control systems are key elements of modern industrial process strategies, not only in the manufacturing industry, but they're also critical for industries such as oil and gas, pharmaceutical, petrochemical, food and beverage, power, recycling, transportation, water, mining, and many others. Since modern ICS systems are typically connected to the network, they also become part of the global internet attack surface. Given that these systems interface with both the digital in the industrial world, think of furnaces, dams, power generators, for example, a large-scale cyber attack against them may not only represent a risk to valuable data and economic loss, but also a threat to human safety. The impact a critical failure in an industrial facility may have in the economy and population of a region also makes ICS and SCADA systems a critical target for acts of cyber warfare and cyber terrorism. Unfortunately, such attacks aren't just theoretical possibilities anymore. Two of the most infamous cyber attacks on ICS systems occurred in 2016, namely the Akimuri water company attack and the Ukrainian blackout. The good news is ICS and SCADA environments can be protected by using preventive and detective security controls such as those more commonly used for other IT systems. With NXLog Enterprise Edition, collecting and forwarding the data needed by cybersecurity solutions to alert and react to an attack is a very simple, low footprint task. Carefully collecting traffic data and logs from ICS systems can also enable administrators to plan for alternate event locations that could be queried and accessed for troubleshooting and detection in the case monitoring stations were compromised, as it happened in the Ukrainian blackout. In the following demonstration, I will show you how to collect information from Modbus protocol and SCADA management logs from Aviva SciTech, and how you can send them to different destinations by manipulating a few simple directives in NXLog configuration file. In this demonstration, we are using a monitoring server where NXLog Enterprise Edition is installed. This server is consuming packet streams coming from devices in the production environment and destined to the SCADA management software installed in it, in our case, Aviva SciTech. As you can see, a Modbus simulator is generating traffic to five different registry addresses, and such traffic is received by SciTech. We will capture the traffic and reconstruct the messages using the IMPCAP module. To accomplish this, I am using the input directive declaring the use of IMPCAP and specifying the protocol which we're interested in capturing. In our example, that is Modbus, which is widely used in SCADA environments. I am also using an output directive to specify the file in which I will receive the captured traffic. And finally, I put these two together in the route, which tells NXLog the origin and the destination of the events. Now, I just need to run my Modbus device and ensure that SciTech is receiving messages which it is actually, as you can observe from the increasing counters in the registry addresses. We will stop it and have a look at our destination file to observe the output of NXLog. Now this is powerful as it is, because it's the full protocol traffic and it can be processed, queried, and analyzed if you have the right tools to do so. However, it can also be improved by making it more readable for human beings. 
So we want to decode this traffic in a structured human readable format so that just by browsing the file manually, we can make more sense out of it. No problem. We will call our friend JSON. In this slide, I'm showing you how adding a few parameters to existing configuration will allow you to output this protocol decode to a reader-friendly JSON formatted document. Of course, as useful as the protocol decode is, it's by no means the only possibility we have here. ICS and SCADA management systems also produce their own system logs, and the diversity of sources supported by NXLog allow you to capture the ones you need, regardless of whether they're stored in separate files within the applications folder or whether they're input to the Windows Events Viewer. Using as an example Aviva SiteTech, the events sent to Windows events aren't many. However, the application generates quite a catalog of log files, which contain critical information. For example, change log, syslog, trace log, and debug log. Each of them are stored in a separate file. Well, no problem, we can have them all. For the Windows events, we can use imvista-log module and specify the log file we want to collect. In this case, event ID 0 from the Schneider Electric SUT service source. For file-based events, we use the IM file module and read directly from the log source. NX Log Enterprise Edition will allow you to collect from multiple sources and transform your data to other formats without having to use complicated logic in your configuration, as we just saw in the case of JSON. But what can you do with the data you collected? Well, the sky is the limit here. You can output to files as we did in the example. You can output to cold storage for your compliance requirements. You can send them to databases via ODBC among other database output modules available. You can send them to a SIEM for security analysis. You can send your events to network monitoring or data analytics platforms. You can send it to cloud destinations, or you can do all of the above using the same inputs, because NXLog allows you to fork your events as needed using drought directives to indicate what your destinations are. And there are so many other options that I will not enumerate here to avoid overwhelming you with information. But feel free to check the output modules section in our user guide, and you will know exactly what options have been pre-built for you to use. The great thing is, if after you browse it, you still feel your company is a real corner case, there's always the option of engaging NX Log Professional Services, an elite team that will guide you and find a solution built for your environment. With NX Log Enterprise Edition, you can ensure your ICS environment is protected and monitored at all times. There's no need to overwhelm your devices with resource taxing software, a very low footprint agent, and a few directives in a configuration file can take your log collection exactly where it needs to be in terms of business continuity and disaster recovery, security and operational monitoring, compliance, and incident response. This concludes the presentation, Efficient Log Collection in ICS and SCADA Environments, and how you can achieve it using Annex Log Enterprise Edition. If you have any questions, or would like to request a trial of NX Log Enterprise Edition, you can do so online by visiting nxlog.co slash request dash trial or by contacting our presales team at presales at nxlog.org. Thank you for joining me for this tutorial. I hope it was informational and enlightening, and I hope you have a great day.